Alright guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys about five things skateboarders go through and the number one is the pebble or the thing, you know, you know what I mean. You get caught by your wheel and you just go and you just fly forward and you just fall down. That literally happens to skateboarders very often, more than what you think. It's it's crazy. I, I probably end up hitting like little rocks or little... um. Like, pieces of chips from a skateboard more than I can count. I'll, I'll, it'll randomly happen, you'll be smiling and whatnot, and next you know, bam, that happens, and you just like, what the heck, that sucked. You good? Number two, uh, twisting your ankle or rolling your ankle. That, that happens to skateboarders once in a while if you're lucky. Um, if, you, if you're just learning tricks and you're constantly trying your heart out, that's gonna happen to you so much. It's like, it's like when can you have a, 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 just a break from that, you know what I mean? So yeah, that, that one sucks because then you're out of the game for a good while and a lot of people love skateboarding, you know? You just don't want to be out of the game. You want to be in it. You want to keep skating as much as possible. Number three, I think it's whenever skateboarders are looking at spots and then a person just is like thinking in their mind, what is this person doing? Are, are they on drugs? What, like, are they, are they gonna steal this vehicle next to me or are they gonna do some dam? Are they gonna do some damage to the property or something? That literally, that's what I feel we, we go through, or at least, uh, as far as skateboarders know, that's the conversations we hold and we think about that people look at us weird and, and like we're vandals and, and like we're doing crime, but we're not. But we're not. Uh, this road looks sick. Too bad there's not for me. What trick would you try? Kick what? What are what are they doing? They're just stairs. Why are they touching the handrail? The craftsmanship, I get it. I mean, yeah, that that handrail was built very nicely. I know. Why why are they touching the stairs like that? I I don't get it. They're probably messing with that car. Are they are they messing with my car? Number four, whenever you get new shoes and you're just trying to wiggle it out to get, you know, wiggle it out like to get your your tricks in, kicking it, keep, keep, uh, kick in, you know, get, get your new shoes, kick in those new shoes and before you know it, they're done. That literally sucks. It really does. So, that happens to skateboard as much often. Oh. For some reason I feel like I feel like I have Oh, already? I barely got these today. <laughs> And the last one, number five, the rain. Because it's been raining here in Bakersfield a lot lately, which we need it, supposedly. But, the rain waterlogs your board. The rain doesn't let you skate comfortably. The rain doesn't even let you skate at times. If anything, the rain stops you. Unless you're just gonna go hardcore and just go skate. Makes you, makes you cry. Makes you <laughs> just think about what are you doing in life. But seriously, the rain, it, it's amazing, but it sucks for, for skateboarders. I wanna, I wanna skate so bad. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The examples and the people that played the examples. That's my little brother Freddy, Bruno, and Chris. Thank you guys so much for helping me out with this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment with your thoughts. And also, 
Let me know if I should do part two. All right, guys, see you later. Have a good night, have a good morning, afternoon, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.